All right, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Football 2002, and this is our final episode of the series, Super Colossal Cereal Bowl. Yes, we have made the we have made the Cereal Bowl once again. Um, it was a tough one though. Last last game, I was getting nervous. I was getting real nervous. Uh, the Pigskins were definitely a tough opponent. We uh, we could not. Um, I don't know, just like. Offensively, we couldn't get anything going. They were they were shutting down the swinger play very well. Uh, we weren't getting much separation on the uh, on the claw play. Um, I mean, maybe I messed up. I swear though, I, I I haven't looked at the tape yet, but I swear when I started the game, Maria's stats were down. I swear Maria's stats were down. That's why I benched her. And then when I went to make subs, her stats were normal and Vicky's were down. So I don't know. I think the game was just trying to mess with me. Um, but we pulled through. We pulled through in the end. Vic, uh, Maria had a huge catch there in the third, in the uh, second half. Got us a, a power up. Got us the touchdown. And we held on barely. We held on by the skin of our teeth. No pun intended. Uh, 22 to 19. So we. That was. Probably our toughest game of the season, not gonna lie. But we're at, we advanced and we're in the super colossal cereal bowl. Now I will say, I also do think that the weather, it's it's odd. Be, the fact that the weather was a, was clear made it more difficult in my opinion because everything was moving faster. I, I don't know. I've just been so used to the snow and the rain where everyone's moving slower. Um, I kind of got used to it. So when they were moving like super fast, I kind of just threw me off. But. Uh, we're playing the Falcons in the Colossal Cereal Bowl. They uh, they started the year undefeated for a while there. Until uh, it wasn't really until uh, towards the end of the season they started to fall off. But they did end up making it. Uh, they won their games. They they've actually been playing since the wild card round. So they had to win three games compared to us only having to win two. They beat the Frogs 18 to six. Beat the Melonheads, who were the one C, 26-13, and they beat the Packers, 15-13. So they've uh, they've had to make, they've definitely had to earn their way here. But uh, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm excited. I, 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 I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. If we were able to overcome the Pigskins that last game, uh, I think we should be fine. I mean, we haven't seen the Falcons yet, so I don't know what they're all about. But let's see uh, how the team's looking. Like, look at, like, McNair. His stats are down. At least his passing is okay. Passing, we'll, we'll leave it there. Vicky looks normal. Oh, Boom's taking a hit on his catching. Don't like that. We're going to have to target Maria heavy this game. Uh, I guess I should leave Mc, uh, Sydney as kicker. Kicking's looking pretty good today. All right, yeah, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to leave it like that. Super colossal cereal bowl, baby. Let's go. Uh, Last game of the series, last game of the season, to cap off the undefeated year. Let's get it. It all comes down to this, folks. The big show, the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. The winner of this game will be the Backyard Football Champion of the World. We're coming to you live from the state-of-the-art, climate-controlled biosphere that is the gigantic corp king-sized dome. The Atlanta Falcons take on the Tennessee Titans. This is Sunny Day, along with the BFL's all-time leader in career-threatening injuries, Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Sunny. Glad to be here. I think. You know, Sunny, there's an old saying. Some days you get the chicken, and some days you get the feathers. What are you talking about, Chuck? I have no idea. Wham, bam, pow! That's the sound of football. And it's also the sound of sugar-crusted gridiron grit. With crunchy simulated oats and sugary marshmallow-like bits, you'll feel like there's a football game in your stomach when you make gridiron grits a nutritious part of this complete breakfast. Gridiron grits and new pizza-flavored gridiron grits. Mamma mia! Now that's a breakfast cereal. Pizza-flavored cereal? That's a one spicy cereal, Sonny. It doesn't get any bigger than this, the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. Good gravy. That's just fascinating, Chuck. Really. Now, let's see some football. So, it's actually the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. It's not the Super Colossal Cereal Bowl anymore, so uh, apologies for the uh, mistake. We are getting the ball to start, so... 
hopefully we get a good power up here. They got Jocinda Smith as their quarterback, I would assume. What did we get? Focus, focus. We're going to use it right out the bat. We're going to use it right out the bat. Maria, great, great throw, great catch. The receiver had a lot of help on that play. Had a whole bunch of blockers. First down. The Titans will start it from 30 yard line. Vicky has a hole. They are and she's in. Great start. Great start. Much better start than last. Well, now last game we actually had a good start too. But nine seconds already we're scoring a touchdown. And that's how you start off a super. No, I keep saying it. That's how you start a gridiron grit cereal bowl. Here is on the field for the point after attempt. I should have known. I should have known better. I should have known better. I I forgot you can't kick extra points unless it's like snowing or raining because they'll just move way too fast. I should have known better. Is going to be kicking off. Austin to receive it. They're not touching this one. Good kick. Yeah, that was. I don't. I don't know why I thought I would be able to make that extra point. <laughs> See what their kind of offense they're running. Oh, they're just running a QB. I didn't. I did not see that coming. We have not seen that all season long. I mean, we've seen some QB draws before, but I've never seen a QB dive like that from the computer. Oh, Sydney. Yes, Sydney. You gotta like that, Sonny. After the interception. Actually, wait, I'm curious. Are the stats still, uh... Yeah, see, like, now it's weird. Now McNair's got good stats. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, Vicky's running is actually down. Maria's fine now. And Sydney's kicking's down now? All right. I, I don't know. The game's, the game's messing with me. They're, they're messing with me. I should, I, uh, I should have been doing this more often, I guess checking the stats in game I, I just didn't think they would change up like switch up but Vicky's running is down but that's okay we'll just sub her out boom is fine Maria's fine yeah everything's fine I uh I guess I overreacted last episode with the uh <laughs> the stats but I don't know I didn't I didn't know that they did that but now we know What a throw, no Maria, six. I mean nobody. All right, we'll save that tornado. All right, your Titans are coming out hot right now. This cereal bowl. And Boom's going to get the two over Lulu. Alright, it's not over It's not over yet, though. Can't get too cocky, but we're off to a much better start than... Again, no, I, can't, I keep saying that, but we actually got off to a good start last game. It was the, after the good start is where things went bad, so... Gotta, gotta keep our foot on the gas here. Playing well, though. Sydney. No. Nice job of looking off the receivers. I think I moved her off the ball. I was I I hate that. I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to pick her. I was trying to uh Ooh, we got lucky. Drop. On the Falcons, 46 yards. Vicky interception. We're using the tornado. We're, we're playing. We're playing as cheap as possible this game. We want the. Uh, and that's going to be another touchdown. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We're we're on it. We're on it today. Boom, boom. Oh, what a catch for two. Off the deflection. And the two-point conversion is good. 
you can see that Marie will be starting it off. Let's it land. Catches it at the 25 yard line. I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling much better than last game. I can tell you that for sure. We are, uh, the your Titans are coming out hot right now. Oh yeah, the Falcons, they don't know what, they don't know what, they don't know what hit them. We'll give up, we'll give that three yard out all day. They want to keep doing that? Go for it, my guy. We'll start at the 34 guy. yard line. Oh no. Okay. Fourth and four. That was you stop a them. Yard game. That is what you want to see. Brings right. up fourth down. <laughs> Jocindy like will be right. hunting it away. Vicky, back to receive the punt. Here's All right. Good field kick. position. On the We're going to uh, bring line. in Sydney now. So their stats actually take go up and down throughout the course of the game. That's interesting. Because Vicky, it looks like Vicky's stats went down even more. I don't, it's, that's interesting. I've actually never noticed that before, if that's the case. You learn something new uh, every day. Every day playing this game, I, I learn something new. On your own, one yard oh, wow. That, that's pretty rare. That usually doesn't happen. I don't know who they were throwing that to. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. It's not a very good drive right now for us. I guess I double clicked on the snap. Maria Luna. Maria's so clutch, man. She's, she's just built different as a receiver. Like going to the air. Here they go oh man, Maria, Nobody's Maria, so, so clutch. Just, I mean, no wonder why we were, we almost lost last game. No wonder why we almost lost that game. I, I apologize so much for not playing Maria um, earlier in that game. Like, that was just so dumb of me. Be like, no, benching Maria for like three quarters, I mean... What was what was I thinking? What was I thinking, Bench and Maria? Boom's gonna get another two point conversion. A thirty point first quarter in the ser in the uh, gridiron grit cereal bowl. Oh wow, that actually that fumble held them out. And when you're scrappy, good things happen. The Falcons recover here. First and 20. 52. Jocinda slings it. Complete. All right, so they did get a power up there. Complete for some big yards. I definitely don't think they're going to get shut out, but I'm just happy we put up 30 points already. Boom with another interception. Yeah, we're uh. It's looking good right now. Maria. Oh, she's going to get caught, though. Maria's going for, like, 300 yards this game. Ooh, that kid was all over. Second down. Sydney and she's in there like swimwear. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting this type of game in the cereal bowl. Sydney Weber gets it for two. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect this kind of performance. Considerable. I thought it was gonna be a sweaty grind fest of a game, but it's looking like your Titans are uh, easily, easily going to win the Serial Bowl. Kind of anticlimactic when you think about it. I feel like last game should have been the actual Serial Bowl instead of this one. Like if last game, of last episode was a Serial Bowl. 
That would have been an epic one. That would have been an epic um, performance. But this one looks like it's going to be a blowout. The Falcons aren't putting up any sort of resistance. Marky with the sack. They waste their gopher play. I think what it is, I really think what it is, I think the, the Pigskins had a lot of, like, two tall players. That Greg kid and that other one. Um, and that, that really messed up the call because they were able to jump and get those animations for knockdowns and interceptions. Um, the Falcons just don't have any tall players. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not it. I just feel like it could be something. That QB went down like a sack of potatoes. Get it? Sack? Potatoes? <laughs> I got a billion of them. The Titans? I had to get rid of it, yeah. I threw that one too far. I was about to get sacked. They were screaming at me on that play. Incomplete. He just hasn't been able to dial up his receivers today. Long drive. Oh, boy. Well, we gave him a touchdown. I mean, I guess that's one way for them to get their first uh, touchdown of the game. Kimmy, what stopped them? It's caught, but they didn't get very far. Nice job by Vicky, waiting for the kick. Josinda will be doing the kicking. Lands on the 19. We'll bring it back from the seven yard line. 19 seconds left in the half. No, no really need to score anymore. I don't think they're going to get to 38 points. We haven't been giving up that many points all season long. No reason to believe uh, it'll happen now. You really just need to get to the end of the game. You know, we've uh, we've already done enough scoring. I mean, we can always score more. I'm not saying we shouldn't try, but if we don't score anymore, it's not a big deal. That being said, though, we'll get another touchdown on this leap frog. And another one. Going back to our go-to flood two-point conversion play. All right, Maria. Maria comes down with it, toss the defender. Our two point, even our two points, is just un unstoppable right now. Forty-six point first half. I mean, I didn't see this coming. I mean, I I was confident heading into this game, but I I I'd be lying to you if I saw this blowout coming. It'll be second. I kind of, I, I kind of wish the last game was actually the uh, cereal bowl. Definitely would have been for more entertaining. The Falcons are really giving uh, no, giving us no resistance, no, uh, no problems. Isn't there a mercy rule in backyard football? These guys are just clobbered them. Now let's head back to the field for the always exciting Cereal Bowl halftime presentation. It's the nitty gritty gridiron grid stancers with an all-star salute to Chester Allen Arthur. Who's Chester Allen Arthur? He was our 21st president, Chuck. Uh, what's a president? Just be quiet and watch the show, dum-dum. All right, this is cool.
How long do you think they took to choreograph that? Well, Chuck, as most of our viewers at home could see, it was an abstract interpretation of the finer points of the Arthur presidency. All I saw was a bunch of kids wigging out. Yes. Well, <clears throat> let's get back to the game. <laughs> uh, gotta love Chuck Downfield. I agree with them. That, uh, yeah, like, that was literally my initial reaction. What the heck was that? But that was something. That was definitely something. Austin, back to receive. Maria will be I wonder if they tired off. themselves Let's out. Drop. The party. Oh, we got that. All right, everything's going our way right now. Apparently, uh, that counts as an on-site kick, and we get it back. <laughs> well, just pulled a rabbit out of the Maria, two seconds into the quarter, we're already getting a another touchdown. 241 yards for Maria. I mean, just an insane, insane performance right now. Forest. Probably should have just thrown it up. Right I mean, I should have given at least Boomer uh, Maria a shot. Right They've been coming down with everything. Like Maria is going to be kicking off. Austin back to receive. Drops on the 12. Austin gets it. Uh. I'm still, I still can't believe that halftime show, man. I mean, what the heck was that? The that was, that was funny. Begin at 12. Out to the right. Ooh, the <laughs> uh, the they can't catch anything. This Falcons, man, they're just they're just bad. They're just not very good. They're, like everything is just getting knocked down. Defense starts with a D. Third down. Third and long. Retro right. I've got this. Sydney pick six. Bro, are we going for a hundred points? You think? You think we can get a hundred? I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Boom! This Falcons team just has nothing on us right now. It looks like Maria is going to be kicking off. Austin waiting for the kick. What a kick! This is, this is going to be such an anticlimactic uh, cereal bowl, especially considering that last, in the 99 version, the cereal bowl is kind of epic. I mean, their Falcons, just, this might be the worst team we played all season. On the Falcons, seven yard line. Dumps it off to the right side. She read the play right and threw it to the right receiver. Yeah, this might be the worst team we played all season. This is that's what I call going to be a very anticlimactic video. I really wish it would have been a lot more entertaining. Vicky side. now with an interception. With the interception. Somebody's been practicing. The Titans will take over at the 11 yard line. Pitches it back. Dropped for a loss. Second down. Tosses it back to Sydney, Sydney. and she's in there. <laughs> Hundred yards for Sydney. Oh, nice job by Lolo. Didn't get it that time. It looks like Marie that's okay. We're already way overpaced with our uh, two point conversions. We should only be at 63 at if we were only kicking extra points. The Falcons right. will start Retro. at their own 34 right. yard line. I'm open. Jocinda slings it. Incomplete. Second down. Poor Jocinda. Honestly, she should go back to uh, basketball. With the air squadron. A quick pass to the Another left interception. interception. Couldn't have done it better myself. Someone's getting the sad now. We'll take over at the but this is the the cereal bowl. We're not gonna let up. Throwing on first down. Maria wide open. Touchdown. You gotta like it when your quarterback can put up those 
kind of numbers. Alcorn tie. I got this. I got this. Oh, that was so close, buddy. Wow. It looks like Nobia is going to be kicking off. Austin, waiting for the kick, lands on the nine. Alex gets it. We are definitely going to break our high score of the season in this <laughs> cereal bowl. I went the to the wrong side there. Doing it for herself for no gain. But defense holds the ground today. Second down. Two blue. Hut, hut, two blue. Hut. It's Another interception. Yeah, we're going for 100. We're going for 100. We're going for it. What do we need? Four touchdowns? Maria Luna. Easy. They can't cover her. They cannot cover Maria. Focus, focus. We'll use that later. Boom, there it is. 80. 80 points. High score. Still a quarter left. You can easily get 100. From the 35, Maria tees it up. Austin waiting back at the 25. They're not touching this one. I really thought this was going to be a good game. I really did. I thought the, the way the Falcons... I mean, the way the Falcons were looking um, early in the season, I really thought they were going to be a lot better than this. I really did. Imagine how many fantasy points that would be. 350 yards and six touchdowns. Sydney, perfect throw. Another touchdown. Yes, we are two touchdowns away from getting 100. It looks like Maria is going to be kicking off. Austin to receive it. What a kick. The team is not letting up. These poor Falcons. They, Jocinda just wants to go home. She, Jocinda just wants to go home right now. Sydney, another interception. How many is that? Quarterback is definitely not afraid of throwing the ball to the wrong team. That's the fifth interception. First down and funny throwing on first down. Steve, nobody. Oh, they still couldn't get Maria. They even had a, they had a uh, someone on her. They still couldn't get her. To use the whole team to stop that kid. Steve has now but passed for did. over 400 oh, yards right. in the game. Steve, Sydney's in there. That's another touchdown. 94. Touchdown dancing, Sonny. 94 in three quarters. Marky. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what happened there? Added some extra yardage on the end of that play, and that never hurt. Fumble like three times there. Tease it up. Austin, waiting back at the 16 yard line. Let's it drop. That is it for the third quarter. One more quarter to go. One more touchdown away from 100 and the cereal bowl. The Falcons will begin at 17 yard line. Drops back. Fumble, Sydney. I've been a great running back, except for the fact that I can't run. Man, just send a what a rough game. Take over in good position. First down and goal. Fades back to pass. Ah, I thought we could get around. For no gain. Brings up second down. They're going to throw. Sydney, hundred points. One hundred points. 
Our season, I, I thought 75 was going to be tough to beat. Yeah, apparently I was wrong. <laughs> apparently I was wrong. 75 was in fact very easy to beat. If it wasn't for that one fumble, they would even be getting shut out right now. Oh, Sydney actually didn't get get it that time. I guess it was uh, only a matter. Of, I guess if they keep trying it over and over, the it's bound to work once. We'll start it from 27-yard line. Josinda fades back to the play. They try a draw play here for no gain. Cough drop. It almost seems unfair that we got a cough drop, but we're gonna use it. It'll be second down on the Falcons 26-yard line. Didn't even matter. We got the pick. Nice job by Marky. The Titans will take over at the 34-yard line. First down and 20. Oh, uh, that's not a good throw. Oh, it is a good throw. Right on the money. Maria. Feet stays on her feet. She's gone. Four forty-eight, seven touchdown. Four Falcons, man. Four Falcons fans. Probably should have gone back to Maria there, but it's all right. It looks like Maria is going to be kicking off. Austin back to receive the kick. Let's it drop. Receives it at the 30. All right, 26 seconds left. Let's see if we can get any more touchdowns here. 100 points, 102 point lead. Never thought I'd hear that in a football game. Marky can't seem to come with a sack, though. Finally brought down at the 40. It'll be second down. Another interception. Somebody's been practicing. After the interception, they'll get the ball in good field position. This quarterback is definitely not afraid to throw the ball to the wrong team. Yeah, that was a couple of there. 16 seconds left. See if we can get one more touchdown. Maybe that QB ought to think about playing a different position. Like a equipment manager. Ooh, good, good play by Lulu. slings it. Couldn't hold it. Maybe that kid ought to pick another sport. On the Titans, 38 yard line. Over here. Drops back, Steve. Rifle. What a throw. Ah, but the uh, couldn't, couldn't hang on. Get positive yardage on a play, Sonny. It's usually a good That's all right. Play. We'll take our 100 point victory and the serial bowl title. Looking for the open receiver. Marky can't get a sack. Oh, Marky. <laughs> Is that Marky's first touchdown of the year? It, it might be, because I don't remember seeing this animation. What a perfect way to end it. Marky and his frog. What a crazy, crazy, crazy performance. 114. That's that guy. Boom gets in triple coverage, and that's going to be it. It's a final. The Titans win the championship in a blowout. 116-6. It doesn't get much better than this, Sonny. This game is presented by the authority of the Backyard Football League. Any unauthorized reproduction, rebroadcast, or redistribution of this broadcast without the express written consent of Humongous Entertainment and the Humongous Sports Network is strictly prohibited. It's been a fun year, Sonny. Will you sign my yearbook? For Chuck Downfield and all of us here at the Backyard Football League, this is Sunny Day, saying so long from the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. See you next season. Oh, man. I mean, that was... that I did not see that coming, if I'm being honest. I did not see that coming. 116 points. I mean, we've had our blowouts, for sure. For sure. We've had our share of blowouts. But usually when we it's a blowout, it's something in the 50s, maybe 60s. 116 points. I mean, that's just insane. They had 11 interceptions. 
We had 465 passing yards. I mean, 22 first downs. Just, just absolutely mad <laughs> that we scored. I have never scored this many points. I've, I've played this game a lot of years, long time, um, back in the day. Never in my life have I scored 116 points. That is just insane. But I mean, it's. A little anticlimactic, like I said, this was being the Cereal Bowl, and, you know, it's kind of a little disappointing because, you know, the 99 Cereal Bowl was such a good game that that was, like, a great way to cap off the series. And even in this series, the last game was really, really good as well. It was a really close, competitive game, but this one, though, not a... (laughs) Definitely was never in doubt, but that's going to do it for the series. Like I said, uh, we're moving on to 2004. After this one, and I can tell you right away that there will be no hundred point victories in two thousand four. I uh do not have the experience or the uh nostalgia for that one, so that's gonna be much more challenging, much more um you know competitive series. So look out for that one after this one. But let's say uh let's take a look here at the team screen. Champs, Titans win the cereal bowl. 116 to 6. We're going to Water Weasel World or something. McNair, 473 yards. Eight touchdowns in a game. Maria, 448 receiving. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But like I said, that's going to do it for this series. Uh, Your Tennessee Titans capped off a perfect undefeated season and win the, uh, the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. Um, man, just, uh, it, this, this game was weird, you know, like it was, it would either be a blowout, like just completely like one-sided or it would just be like really like down to the wire. It was never anywhere in between, but I had fun. This is definitely the game I played the most as a kid. So a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories for me playing this one. But like I said, next one. Next, we'll move on to 2004, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Definitely going to be a more challenging series, I would imagine. But, like I said, that's going to do it for me. So, I will let everyone watch the rest of this cutscene of our team at Pizza World. And, I'll catch you in the next one.